What's up y'all? Welcome back in the shop. We're back on the tow truck wheel lift build and it's coming along really nice. Uh, this is gonna be part four of the series. If you haven't seen any of the other ones so far, go back and watch them and get caught up on all that. Uh, it's been fun and I'm sure you'll enjoy it if you enjoy anything homemade, shop built, fabrication, hydraulics, any of that good stuff. I'm sure you'll have a blast watching through all this stuff and maybe pick up on some ideas and always welcome comments are always welcome if you want to hit me up and give me some ideas of your own but uh all that let's get into it here check it out i know last time what we had done i think we had both arms on we had one cylinder on and uh it was looking pretty close to form we got quite a bit more put on here both arms uh the pivot point here which also is greasable got a grease circ in there uh this is one inch thick tapers down to about five eighths on the back here down below we got three eighths plate piece of a leaf spring as extra support and a skid uh, that may need to be replaced as wear permits but it's pretty hard steel so it'll hold up a good while it's not like I'm gonna be dragging it down the highway uh, this right here is actually the nut uh, one inch grade 8 bolt this nut is sunk in the thickness of the 3 8 and welded all in there and uh, I'm gonna have haven't quite figured out how I'm gonna design it, but a keeper of some point. I'm probably gonna drill a hole and tap it and put like an offset, something that'll catch the notch of the bolt so it can't ever come loose. I'm gonna tighten it, set it to the tension I want, and then uh, put that on there to keep it from threading out. And then if it ever wears a little bit, I can always take the keeper loose and uh, snug that bolt up a little bit and just kind of tighten it up the whole T-bar just to keep the vibration and the shaking and everything down and uh, get rid of the slop. Uh, I got the bolt removed here. There's the bolt. That's the one that goes through the cylinder inside the tube. Uh, that right there, if you're wondering what the slide looked like, that's the slide for the front. Got the four bolts, grade eight bolts. And uh, I'm gonna end up putting, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it, probably, probably on the side a grease zerk to lubricate the slides and also there'll be one at the back as well and I need to put a hole completely through this tube because the cylinder inside here uh, has a couple slides on it that will need grease as well so I'll probably make it to where when it goes all the way in there'll be two holes that line up and then you can put grease all the way through to grease that cylinder slide uh, you can see all this is welded up. I'm going to try to clean up some of these berries and stuff a little bit more. And uh, hopefully kind of blend it together with a sandblaster before I put some paint on it. My welder doesn't quite burn hot enough. And uh, that's why I took the grinder to it and kind of cut off the peaks of my welds a little bit. As far as I know, there's no porosity in it. I'm pretty confident in that. But they're not the prettiest. I should have taken it home and stick welded it. But... That's the welder I got here, and I got small gauge hard wire in it. So if I turn the amps up too high, it doesn't like it. So I had it on number eight. I need to get some either bigger wire or stick weld some of this, but but it, it's it's turning out pretty well. I got the new safety chain bracket made out of a piece of a tire iron, five eighths high carbon steel. Uh, the older one I cut off because it was not going to work out for how I was putting this together. Uh, well, the other tubes, two and a half inch by three eighths for the cylinder back. And this right here is the stop. So when it rotates all the way, it hits here. And it's probably at maybe like an 80 degree angle. So it's not quite straight here. I can rotate it all the way and show you. 
that's the angle it, it rotates to. And you can see the stop there is not touching. There's still a gap. I'm going to cut the corner of this off on either side. So that butts up straight up against there. And I think that'll work out pretty well. And as it goes in, this edge right here and this stop right here will hit. I'd slide it, but it's way too heavy to show you when handed, but it'll hit right on this edge and it'll immediately hold this straight. And this whole part right here goes inside the end of the tube, locks everything tight when the cylinder is backed all the way up. All right, on to the next. You've already seen how this functions. You got the springs inside, the roller, which is gonna get a lubrication hole in it. Uh, got gray zerk right there. And if you want, want a good rundown of how all this functions, go back to number three, tow truck wheel lift build. And uh, if you haven't seen all the other videos, go back in there and watch those as well. Give you a good idea how the steps I've taken and everything to put this together. Quarter inch, quarter inch thick tread plate. Give me some good grip so I don't slide sideways. And uh, I'm gonna end up putting some eyelets on here for hooks or straps. And the uh, same on this side. But uh, this has turned out pretty well. And I also put a piece of a leaf spring on here as well. High carbon steel works for a good skid. And if it ever does wear out, got four welds to cut and I can weld another one on. It should work out pretty well. These two bolts are gonna be cut off flush so they don't stick through. And this is what I've come up with on this. I know I had a lot of guys in the comments because I had this nut sticking through. And a lot of you were saying, you better do something or you're gonna hit something and it's gonna shear it off or it's just gonna plain wear off. And uh, I had planned on doing that, but this is what I've come up with. The lights are causing a really weird reflection here. But uh, this is, you can kind of see it, there's a focus. It's uh, two pieces of quarter inch lawnmower blade, pretty high carbon, good steel. Just cut the hole in the center and welded them on there. And uh, I can still get a socket on that. It is a little offset, so I could use an open end wrench if I wanted to, but I can still put a socket on there to get that nut loose or tight. And all that is just a jam nut to hold this from unscrewing. And I'm probably gonna put something similar on the top, just because I'm afraid this right here over time might crack, because I got about three quarters of an inch there to the edge of the hole. And uh, I'm a little concerned that with the weight of the car on here, that could split, so I'm gonna probably weld a piece on here as well. Yeah, same thing, all on this side. Lawnmower blades on the bottom of there, and all that. Uh, these are definitely gonna get more welds. I'm probably just gonna do four, just like I did on all the rest of them. And, uh, here, let me throw a tire up here. Show you how this works. And that's going to be kind of how it sits on there. Should have broke out pretty well. This is a medium sized tire. Maybe like a 20, I don't know, 25, 26 inch tire. So it's like a small light truck tire. And it fits pretty well. When it gets some weight on there, it'll squish in there and hit the treads pretty well. And uh, I think that'll work, work out pretty nice. And I've been doing some work on my truck as well. I posted a short clip up of uh, me cutting the spare tire bracket out and all the rust and everything. And I've since then got a little bit more done and uh, that'll be next Friday's video. So uh, be sure to stay tuned for that. And uh, I'm just gonna have a collaboration of several different videos put together and uh, show the different steps that I've done. And I obviously can't video all the work itself, but uh, that's the plan and that'll be coming up next Friday. So if you're not subscribed or following on Facebook or YouTube, 
and you like what I'm doing here, don't miss out. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. And uh, that way you'll get notified and uh, you can even hit the bell, little bell on uh, YouTube so you get notified of that and Facebook will notify you and you won't miss out on any of these unique and educational and just all around fun videos. Stay tuned until next time.